Welcome back, travelers. It is Slot of Havoc here, and we are back. That is right. This is episode or two, part three. I will call it part three of Matter Overdrive Revisited. In the first one, we went over all the basic machines and how we would get them set up to get basically unlimited diamonds. That's the way I'm looking at it. In part two, we went over the power that was available in the mod using the solar panels as well as the anomalies and how overpowered they really are. Compared them to, you know, other versions like thermal expansion power conversions and it blew them out of the water. Now we are working into the fun, goofy stuff. Yes. As you can see in the top of my screen, I have a, a health symbol with 120%. I have a 100% battery and I've got a 100% walk speed, I guess you would say. And then up in the middle, I've got some random things on my screen. That is because I went down the rabbit hole and I had myself the red pill. The red pill can be created by finding the items uh, out in the world by killing robots, putting them together in the crafting grid. You get the red pill and you jump down the rabbit hole and you become a robot. And then you can do fun things like, well, become a robot. Yay, they fixed the textures. I actually look like a cool little robot now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, we became a robot. And part of being a robot is being energy powered now. So instead of a hunger bar, which I'll slip into creative real quick, or even game mode, you can see that I don't have a health bar anymore. Or sorry, a hunger bar. I don't have my hunger nuggets. Why? Because I am battery based now. I am a battery based life form. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But what happens when your battery gets freaking underpowered? You make a charging station. I don't know what that's a bounding block. Okay. The charging station, basically, you have to be standing within eight blocks of it, and it will charge your internal battery. And the internal battery you actually add on this screen right here. Put the high capacity battery in, and actually if I take that out and put an empty one in, you'll actually see that uh, basically I drop it in here, and since I'm actually within range of the charging station, this is already taking a charge, right? So the longer I stand next to the charging station, the longer it will charge up and bingo bango fun stuff, right? And you can see, like you can see my face now, and now you can't, because I've become a robot. And if I add the parts that I find around to the three major places, then I basically take on the shell and it gives me a couple little things. I have uh, all melee attack on my guy right now and they're all plus one health. And I did happen to forget to put one on, which is the Tritanium Spine. And this one also adds uh, max health of plus two and glitch time 50%. I'm not 100% sure what the glitch time's about. I've done some research and I can't find any information on it, but it didn't seem all that real pertinent. But anyways, this is the um, Android station and this is where you can level yourself up as a robot. As you see, it shows you I have 102 experience right now. And things like uh, Ender Teleporter cost experience. And bingo, bingo, there we go, I have it. Now, if you see the little icon above the Ender Teleporter, it's got this guy right here, the Heisenberg, right? Because I'm in creative, I didn't need it, but you have to have, if you see the little icon above it, it's basically telling you, you have to have this item in your inventory when you level up, and that will give you that awesome thing. And then all you gotta do, put your cursor out in the open. Oh wait, I actually have to turn it on. There we go, now it's on. And I press X and boom, teleport. And you can see the little the little thing. It's gonna show you exactly where you're gonna teleport to. Then you let go and it sends you. And it's got a bit of a cool time, uh, cooldown time. As you can see, it didn't pop up right away. There it is. So there is a cooldown time on it, but not too bad. It does spend a little bit of energy, but that is freaking awesome. You can do things like night vision, nanobots, minimap, now, this one is really kind of cool. It shows you where things are on the map. Now, obviously, most people are using other mini maps at this point, so it's not really a necessity or anything, but it's still kind of cool. And if you uh, go to your like HUD setting and stuff like that, you can always turn that on if you want. But I think it's kind of just, it's a very, you know, not in your face kind of HUD, so I, I personally like it. All right now, the nanobots, 
they'll let you take a path of either defensive or attacking, right? So I can increase my attack up to, I think it's four times, which then unlocks the next one. It gives a 20% chance to instantly cool a weapon down that's overheated. And you also have Sonic Shockwave, which long story short, as you can see, press a burst of kinetic energy that damages and knocks nearby enemies up to 10 blocks to release. Press the action key while giving and holding, uh, uh, while hold shift while falling, right? So basically you can kind of see it. And then it's got a cool down, but that knocks everybody back. That is pretty freaking spiffy. Yes. Then you can unlock other things like limb overclocking, movement speed by 10%, 20%, 30%, up to 40% uh, airbags you can float in water, high jump with a piston and some XP. Yes, it just makes sense. And space time equalizer. Basically, it negates the gravitational effects of gravitational anomalies. And now if I go back into mode, oh, 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 did I not turn it on yet? I forgot to turn it on. Or did I not activate it? Which one did I not do? Oh, I kind of forgot to activate it. Let me go back to creative real quick. I unlocked it, but I didn't activate it. There we go. Now, if I go back in, I'm not getting pulled in by a my anomaly anymore. That's pretty freaking cool. Now, uh, the stuff you can do with uh, Matter Overdrive and the way you can OP yourself is just really cool. Now you can see my movement speed is increased up to 140%. And that's just, it's cool. I mean, it's cool. 140%, my health is at 130%, and my battery is fully charged. And if I go back here and look, my battery has been fully charged because I've been standing within eight blocks of the charging station. That is pretty epic. Now, the star map, I'm not gonna really go into it. I'm gonna give you a real brief, this is a star map, okay? The reason being is it's not really implemented. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that they have planned, but for the time being, it just, it's it's not implemented yet. And that's that's the only way to say it. But what you can basically do is you can put these different things on display and it just looks kind of cool. Um, if it's eventually, uh, there's one, it's basically your home, I believe it is. Um, I, oh, I deleted the home, so it's not there anymore. But there's all these different places you can check out and there's all these different areas you can check out. And it's just, you know, it's kind of cool. Like it's 9,448 light years away. And if I look, I can look at an individual planet if I want to. And I can go into the quadrant and check different quadrants. I can go into the planetary system. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with that just for display purposes. But in all honesty, it serves no real purpose. So let's be honest. You find stuff like that and other things in these little crash sites that you'll find around the map. And basically they have things like these holographic signs. They have these vents that are just kind of cool looking decorative blocks, platinum plated uh, guides. And then those chests that I showed you, you can find things like the Heisenberg uh, compensator or emergency rations or Romulan ale or tea, Earl Grey hot. Yes, you can find all sorts of random stuff all around the map as well as crash landing and build a security protocol. And I think this is a quest system that they plan on implementing, but it hasn't been implemented as of right now. You can see I typed on the little signs and gave a little hello and I tried to type right, but the T doesn't seem to want to work in this mod pack. I don't know why it's weird, but anyways, yeah, you'll find all these items, but that will lead us to the next fun item that you can play with, which is this bad boy right here, the transporter, the transporter. If you can see, I've already got one set up. <coughs> if you go into the config, you can set yourself a location. Now these things can uh, teleport you up to 32 blocks away. As you can see, I'm not going anywhere right now, right? It's up to not 32 blocks away, up to 32 blocks away. So as you can see, I'm trying to move myself 32 blocks and it won't work. But if I reduce it just by one and hop on this bad boy, a little whirly whirly sound and it pushes me out 32 blocks or well, 31 blocks at that point right and then this guy is just set to return me home and it'll put me right back over by the other one and bingo bango here we are this is the teleporter it just takes a little bit of um uh, matter energy and boom you're off but now we're going to get into something that i hadn't gone over yet and so i'm actually going to switch back into creative because i've got them all sitting right here and that is are uh, upgrades. 
there are a lot of different upgrades that you can do to all of your machines. We have speed upgrades and we have hyperspeed upgrades. We have matter storage upgrades, power storage upgrades, range upgrades, fail safe upgrades and power upgrades. So basically you give it a little right click, you go to your upgrade screen and you're gonna have five slots that you can kind of mess with. Now, if you wanna be crazy with it, you can go ahead and put hyperspeed in every single one, right? And it means basically hop it on this thing, watch, boop, gone. It takes the teleport time to 10%. Whereas this one takes this long, it takes it to 10%, right? So that's like the hyperspeed upgrade. Another option you have is, um, well, shoot, taking these out manually is kind of annoying. Uh, for the teleporters is the range upgrade. Now this range upgrade, you can increase it up to 400% for a little, for the cost of a little bit of uh, energy. So if we basically max this bad boy out, the one thing I would like for the add, you cannot type in here. You do actually have to manually click it. If you don't use these guys right here, which I'll get to in just a second, but basically we're gonna take this guy up to the max which it's four times 32, which would be 124. But once again, or sorry, 128, right? But 128 is not gonna work, right? Why? Because it's up to 128. Very weird math the way they do it, but 127 works just fine. And now we should warp way out there. And as you can see, I landed on this one right here, which is designed to send me right back. I would highly advise if you start putting speed upgrades on it, don't put your ports like right above the teleporters, but maybe in the general area. But I think they're pretty freaking sweet. That's a 128 block chop in a lateral position, not in um, like, you know, elevator blocks. So those guys are pretty cool. There's other upgrades, like I said, you can add like the power storage upgrade. So right now it currently has a power storage of 1.024 uh, RF. If we were to throw in the power storage upgrade, it's gonna be a little more power usage, but now we have a 200% so then if we look, the power's gonna be going back up because now it's at 2.04. So, I mean, obviously it makes sense, right? Now there's always, always a chance of epic failure um, on things like the anomaly. And so what you have is fail safe upgrade. So we're gonna go ahead and grab these back. And actually I've got all the hyperspeed. I'm gonna go back to the anomaly really quick just to kind of show you how this works, right? Um, we'll say like the storage upgrades. If we wanna hold bunch of storage upgrades. I can go to the upgrade screen and I've got an option of four here. Um, I don't know if power storage is the best idea. Power upgrade, like power usage now. Um, how about, how about matter storage upgrade, right? So if I put, nope, not those. I forget which ones actually go in here. Um, that one will work, right? The speed upgrade, 75% faster, or I can do the hyperspeed upgrade and then it just produces matter like insanely fast. So say if I were to grab a couple of these blocks right here and throw them in there and they start burning up, it's just gonna fill the freaking, you know, power that much faster, like insanely fast, absolutely insanely fast. So the upgrades are pretty fun and pretty useful. And uh, some of them you get a chance for failure. Like I think maybe, oh, you know what? I know which one fails. This guy right here, I can go on the upgrade and say if I'm adding, I don't know, power storage or whatever, power storage is now 1600%. There's no negative effects that go with those guys, which is really cool because there's there's nothing you know to go. Um, but I can go like matter storage, we can do that. And then I can switch over to things like speed. Where was my speed one? Here's a regular speed, right? Now my failure is up to 125%, but speed is you know reduced by 25%. So then I put a fail safe upgrade in and now it reduces my failure to down to 62%, but it increases my time. So there's a, you know, a, a give and take and you, you gotta kinda, you know, make your choices on what you wanna do. I can do hyperspeed, which reduces it to 14 and failures at 75%, that's really good. So it's, it's all a matter of how you wanna do it and how you wanna play with it, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and clear my inventory out because well, oh, and then by the way, these uh, uh, flash drives, basically you right click them on the ground and it will save that uh, location that you just clicked on. Like that was 153, now I'm at 152. And then all you do is plop it in this guy right here, cl click on new, you create it and bingo, bingo, you've uh, set your location that you want to teleport to. Pretty easy peasy. 
now we're going to get in to what everybody loves to get into weapons right we want to be able to kill people that's really what it comes down to we want to be able to kill people how do we do it weapons and we have a weapon station right and it's pretty simple i'm going to start off with the basic phaser because well heck why not this thing is all star trekked out if you've ever watched star trek you'll understand where the idea for this thing came from but it gives you the stats it's a damage of one uh speed is 120 range is 18 blocks you know accuracy whatever it's heat but you can do things like uh is it these guys no no these are the ones that you keep on you um where's my batteries 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 give me, give me that battery there we go uh, I believe you can increase the battery capacity on it, right? So now it holds um, 1.5 million because of the added battery, whereas it normally has a charge of 32,000, right? So you're just bumping that way up to 1.05 mil. That's that's pretty cool. You can do things like add this little tip to it and it adds 150% damage and just kind of makes it look a little bit cooler. You can do things like add a color to it and change its color to make it look however you want. And then this over here is security protocols. They have not really incorporated the security protocols yet. I, I mean, honestly, when I, when I was first looking for this thing, I was looking all over the place for something useful and I couldn't find anything. Nada. Couldn't find anything worthwhile. But, you know, whatever. And then when you're not in there, it leaves it on display so you can kind of see what it looks like. And I don't know. I think this thing's kind of spiffy, right? So you've got a plasma shotgun that you can add things like incinerary filter to, which basically just gives fire damage. But it reduces your ammo by 50% and your damage by 75%. So, you know, it's give and takes with a lot of this stuff. Um, I believe it's the Omni tool. The Omni tool that I can put the explosion on. No, which one gets it? Uh, the plasma... It's not the plasma shotgun. That's just the one I had. One of these, it's only one of them. Uh, actually, it may not be any of these. Maybe this one? Oh, I've already got that on there. Nope. Maybe it's the phaser. Maybe it's the phaser, and I forgot that. There we go. It's the phaser that does it, right? So this gives you explosion damage, but that reduces your ammo way down and the effect way down and the fire rate way down, right? But that is pretty sick and pretty cool so they all have different mods that you can put on them so this one i've got a plus 150 on my ion rifle i've added a sniper scope and then i've also added a battery to it uh with the uh, shotgun we've just kind of left it vanilla because there's only so many things you can add to it but we can add some damage to it there and then the omni tool you can add all the same kind of things to it um oh you know what and the other thing you can add to your phaser that i forgot you can add the regen yeah, the regeneration or whatever, right? So you can actually heal people with this. Pretty cool, right? Pretty, pretty cool. A lot of cool stuff you can do with the weapons. And let's go test these bad boys out. I'm going to start with the Omni Tool first because the Omni Tool does more than just shoot. Yes, it shoots. And this, you know, Golem's at 50 and it does 8 damage. It does shoot. But if you hold right click, it does so much more than shoot. It actually can mine blocks for you. And it goes a pretty freaking far way. Look how far that mines out. That is freaking awesome. The Omni tool is, I don't know, one of my favorite tools added in the game. And it's really not all that weak. All right, then we've got the rifle. The rifle does what it does. You aim like that, you shoot like that. It has a semi-auto mode, or it shoots semi-auto. It's pretty cool. Shotgun does what you think it's going to do. It shotguns. You can, however, do the big blast, holding your right and letting go, and you do your big blast, and it does like 25 damage. That one's pretty cool. Now the phaser, we added some exploding damage. So it gives a little bit of exploding damage, but, you know, it's not the strongest weapon in general. Let me grab myself another iron golem. Uh, iron golem. And we will... Do a little test out on the Ion Sniper Rifle as well. Actually, I'm going to do two of these because I really want to see how much damage this phaser is doing. 100. It's, uh, what, 1.25? But it, you know, it does some, you know, work, I guess. And then, oh yeah, that's just my melee damage. So yeah, so that's the phaser. And then you have the ability to switch to stun. Oh, by the way, yeah, that's kind of what I forgot I was going to explain. 
Uh, if you hold shift right click, you can see this is basically like stun. This is a little more damage. This is a little more damage. Then you get into the explosions. That's just, you know, it gives the boom, but doesn't really do much. And then there's the bigger boom. And then there's the biggest boom of all. And there he goes flying over to the anomaly. That's the phaser. The phaser is pretty freaking fun. Then finally, your ion uh, sniper cannon, you right hold right to aim, and boom, you shoot. And it doesn't take long to kill him at all. Was that two, three shots? And that's with the uh, the addition of the... What's that thing called? I need to see it before I say it. Uh, the Dilithium Focus Matrix, which was just 150% damage. So the ion or rifle is pretty awesome. And guys, that's basically the entire mod in a nutshell. It's got freaking fun new stuff that can be upgraded with upgrade chips. It's got awesome power that can be powered up with awesomeness. And I really want to shotgun this guy. There we go. And I can't mine him, but I can shoot him and I can make him blow up. And you can see why this thing would be fun. Yes, and this is like, this has nothing to do with creative mode. This is what this thing does. So yeah, guys, that is Matter Overdrive Revisited. We have fixed our previously really horribly done and made it so much better. Did you? It's just going crazy. It did an entire circle around me. I did not know it did that. I did not know it did that. That is really cool. That thing's pretty damaging. So if anybody thinks the phaser ain't worth it, think again. And then as soon as the battery recharges, yeah. So if you're in range of your charging station, you're you're doing good things. Oh, goodness. So much fun. Oh, yeah. And then, well, that didn't work. I was going to show you that you can put your weapons in the charging station and it'll uh, charge them back up for you. Let me do that again real quick. Uh, yeah, that was unintentional. I was having too much fun blowing everything up with that. But anyways, yeah. Throw your charging station on here. And then you can throw the phaser in there. And as you can see, it's now... Well, this is building up. But it'll take a charge. Um, yeah. So yeah, charging up. Yay, yay, yay. Blowing stuff up. So much fun. That was... <laughs> Matter Overdrive Reloaded. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, I really appreciate the likes. It helps me get a little bit more attention. And I hope this was helpful because I know this mod does not have a lot of information out there. And until next time, guys, I'm Slaughter Havoc.